using a flat screwdriver, remove the plastic cover. It's held in place with hooks. This is the position of the sixth ox. Remove this groove. Remove these uh, two screws. Remove this spring. Remove the other spring. Separate the two parts of the fuser unit, lower fuser roller and upper fuser roller. There are two metal hooks that keep the two parts of the unit together. Remove the metal pin. Remove the fuser cover. You can now remove the lower fuser roller with the bashings. Remove the plastic panel. Remove the wires of the thermistor from the slot. Remove the cables of the thermal fuse. Remove the other side panel. Take the upper fuse roller assembly and remove the two screws of the heating lamp. Pressing on the lever, detach the connector of the heating lamp. Remove the other connector in the same way. Lift up and remove the upper fuser roller. Remove the heating lamp. Remove the left bashing. Remove the right bashing. This is a thermistor. This is a thermal fuse. If you need to remove them, remove the screws. Reinstall the two bashings.
insert a dating lamp. Install the upper fuser roller. The separation clubs must be over the roller. Be careful not to damage the roller surface. Reinsert the two connectors. Install the screws of the heating lamp. Reinstall the side plastic plate. Insert the cables in their slots. Insert the other side panel. Insert the other side panel. Install the metal supports of the lower fuser roller. The two bushings of the roller are the same. Install them in place. Install the fuser roller cover. Insert the metal pin. Join the two parts of the fuser unit. Reinstall the two metal springs. Insert the screw. Install the cover and the work is done.